In Boston, 1848, Sarah Roberts, a five-year-old African-American girl, and her father, Benjamin Roberts, attempted to enroll her into an all-white school. However, the city forced Sarah to enroll in an all-black public elementary school, the Abel Smith School. The school was one of a number of segregated schools for colored children in Boston. It was far from where the family lived and considered inferior to the white school. Benjamin Roberts, one of the nation's first African-American printers, challenged the Boston School Committee's policy, racial segregation, and fought to enroll his daughter in a better school. Two attorneys, Robert Morris, one of the first black lawyers in the nation, Charles Sumner, later a U.S. Senator from Massachusetts, took the case and argued it to the Massachusetts Supreme Court. Unfortunately, in 1849, Judge Shaw ultimately ruled that the local elected officials had the authority to control local schools and that separate schools did not violate black students' rights. Black parents in Boston, however, refused to accept defeat. They organized a school boycott and statewide protests. In 1855, the Massachusetts legislature passed the country's first law prohibiting school segregation. For more black history facts, check out the Benjamin Hooks Institute's Facebook page. Thank you.